Hello everyone, it is Monday, June 25th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. It's only four more days to Friday. Mowed the front lawn already. It is hot as can be. It's like 80 degrees already. And it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Pathetic. Ugh. Supposed to be over 100 today here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men are the men and the bulls run scared. All right. So time to cool off with some beer. And let's do this right. How about some uh, Deschutes Brewery? Deschutes Brewery Twilight Summer Ale. Mm-hmm. Yep, a summer beer for a hot day. 5% alcohol by volume. There you have it. I'm not going to lie about the alcohol content of these here beers. I don't lie about anything. If I lie, it's inadvertently. Grills on, shoes off, summer has its own rules. And it's funny, I noticed something on here. Well, it says, as luck would have it, it also has its own beer. Enjoy. Okay. I thought it was interesting that this beer says for fellow explorers everywhere. Well, I'm not exploring anything. Maybe later. Hmm. Yeah. I think you can catch my drift, folks. Traditional bottle opener. And traditional beer glass, of course, with the initials on it. Thank you to my love goddess, spoken that up, JSB. And my man, Justin Dimmitt. That was an inspiration. And he got his own beer mug engraved. See, my man, Jer Justin, lives out in Germany. He's a fellow Masonic brother and a very good friend of mine. Brother for life. Cheers to you, my friend. And uh, cheers and beers to all of you. Not bad. A little hoppy. Not big on super hoppy beers, which is why IPAs kind of iffy on. Some are really good. Some are not so good. But uh, this one's it's a little hoppier than I'd like, but it's not a bad beer. Select malt and a heady dose of bold Amarillo hops deliver full-on flavor and craft and nuance in a spry summer style. Enjoy chilled as the days linger. Well, you know what? Hey, makes sense why it's hoppy now, doesn't it? All right, how about some birthday shout-outs? We only got two of them. Let's zip right through them. My friend Tabitha Devine. She's only a couple days older than me, but she looks a lot younger than me. Happy birthday to you. Dropped you a happy birthday wish on your, on your Facebook, and you look almost the same as you did 20 years ago in high school. I am blown away. 21 years ago. Sorry to reveal your age, but, I mean, my God. I am just, wow. And you're lesser half, but still a great man. Kevin, big shout out to you, my friend. I've known you since I was an itty bitty little kid. We've known you forever. You've always been absolutely awesome. He's serving our country. Hardcore Marine, if I'm not mistaken. No, you went Army, didn't you? Either way, I can't. I always forget with you, Kev, if it's Army or Marines. Either, either way, thank you so much for ser serving our country well. Big salute. Cheers and beers. And your better half, Tabitha. Kevin, make sure you take care of her today. She deserves it. It's her birthday. Special day for a very special lady. And Kev and Tabitha, I know you two have been together. You guys were dating in high school. And I am so proud of the fact that you two are still together today. True example of high school sweethearts. I absolutely love it. And you two are absolutely awesome. So, big ups, big shout out. Great friends. Obviously, Tab is happy. She's aged so well. It's incredible. You look great, Tab. Kev, good job, buddy. Mighty proud of you. I always said you deserve a good woman. And, man, you got a good one. She ain't as good as my wife. But she's quite cool. Yes, Kevin, I did marry royalty. I'm, if you haven't watched the show before, I throw that out there often. I'm the king by default because I'm married to the queen and we got the princess, the little princess. Enough said. The other birthday shout out, my man, Dumpster Dave McDonald. Dave, what's up, buddy? Living in jolly old England. Dude, it was such a pleasure working with you, man. I miss it. Come over here to Yeehaw, Texas, man. We need to get reunited. Like peaches and a herb, you know? Dave... You and I will never forget hanging out over the wash rack and I point to the parking lot, the cop car parked, and it's dark. And I say, hey, wonder what they're doing as they're facing away from us. And he's like, 
Man, she's probably giving him a blowjob. I kid you not, folks. No sooner he yells that out, by the way, a head pops up. <clears throat> Squeeze me. Kai turns on, and they do a 180, and they come out of the parking lot, and they take a right towards us, driving real slow. And uh, I notice, I'm like, man, the he one of the headlights is out. He's like, man, we should stop them from my No, 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 no. And no kidding, as the cop car drives by, the dude is staring at us, looking really pissed off, okay? And the girl in the right seat, in the passenger seat, is slouched down with a big shit-eating grin on her face. And we're just like, oh, I couldn't believe it. Amazing. Fun times on night shift. That's right, mid shift. Wow. The things you see. And Dave, you and I will always have that memory. Two cops, one water tower. Interesting times. And I'll drink to that. All right, how about some additional shout outs? My good friend from Fresno, California, Jennifer Perez, Jiggle Jugs. What's going on, sweetie? How are you doing? Thought I'd give you a shout-out. She's a diehard Raiders fan, which is okay because she's from the area. I'm not a fan of the Raiders. Don't like the Raiders very much. Always did love Howie Long, though. I still do. But, however, in a lot of respect to the late Al Davis, I always did like that guy. People think I'm nuts, but I always liked him. He was passionate about his team. And you know what? That's cool. George Steinbrenner and... Uh, Jerry Jones, complete douches. But I've always respected them as, as owners because those guys are passionate about winning and will spend whatever it takes and do whatever it takes to win. Like them or not, they may be pricks, but damn, they got a good commitment to winning and I always respect that. And same for you, Al Davis. Much respect to you. Rest in peace. But anyway, uh, Jennifer, do miss you big time. Hope you're doing well. Love to hear from you. Always a great friend. Always cheerful, cool, and jiggle jugs. I mean, come on. You gotta love that nickname. It makes sense, right? There you go. All right. Next on the list. Had a great conversation with this guy last night. He posted up some models that he has. He, collect, he collects airplane, airplane models. Different models and all, all different types of uh, aircraft. Absolutely phenomenal collection there, Ricky. My man, Ricky Figueroa, Fig, Ricky, either or however you want to be called, you're a great man, a great friend, a great guy, and dude, I'll never forget Bible Camp last year, man, it was good times, and do you realize that my man Jeff Camback and the uh, Jeff Camback show was an inspiration for this here show, this is my beer and song of the day show, I introduced a good beer to you, bring out a great song of the day as you'll hear later on. And I even bring in other things like license plates of the day, which I've been doing. Soon that's going to change because I'm pretty much running out of license plates. I've got over 300 of them, and I think I've shown them all on the show. But uh, I'm going to start when my birthday hits in a couple of days. I'm going to bring out either the – it's going to be like the viewing material of the day, whether it's a movie, an episode of a show, or a, sh uh, a show itself, something along those lines. So be ready for that, folks, okay? coming in a couple days to you so big i just want you to know man it was an awesome conversation we're all having about your pictures you were like man I, you know no big deal when you posted them like don't hate or whatever I, I don't remember what it was you said but dude people were impressed i know i was blown away especially with those 141 models you know that's my baby detail mafia for life undoubtedly but those 130s are awesome too yep so a great collection, and to a great friend, I salute you. Cheers and beers, my man. Hi. Right. These next two guys have been best friends since they both started their jobs back when the Earth's crust was still cooling. My friends, Dr. Doran Massey, and my friend, Dr. Toby Adams. Now, these guys, absolutely phenomenal. Like me, they've worked tea tails. T-Tail Mafia, good times. I work with Toby here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men and men the bulls run scared. I did say that once, and I'll say it again. 
But I also worked with my man, Darren Massey. We didn't work together in Japan, but we were there. And we love it. And then we worked together in England. Great times as well. And uh, you guys reek of awesomeness. Both of you. So, and Toby... Congrats on the promotion, on your job promotion, man. Awesome times. Mighty proud of you. All right. And how about a shout out to my man, Lee Youngie. Why? Because the guy is cool. Crew dog, who I worked with in jolly old England. Always a pleasure chatting with you. And I uh, hope you're doing well. Miss you, brother. Unfortunately, you went to Bible camp after I left. It would have been great to hang out with you, but that was fun, man. A lot of fun. So, how's life treating you? Good? <laughs> you know life's treating me good. It always does. If the day ends in Hawaii, it's a good day. And if I got a beer in my hand, it's an even better day. And if my Red Sox win, it's a wicked awesome day. All right. Next on the list. My man, Rich Austin. Now, here's a guy who used to live in Yeehaw, Texas. And now lives in jolly old England. I met him. I was moving to Texas. He told me where I was moving to was going to be busy as a dike in a hardware store. It was going to be insane. Lots of long hours and stuff like that. Well, you know something, Rich? I had longer hours in England, honestly. It has not been bad here. Remember how much I did not want to come to Texas? Wow, was I wrong. I was as wrong as two boys rubbing wieners together. I'm not against that. Just not my bag. Ah, uh, the good Lord made women for the love doctor right here. Period. Dot. End of story. But Rich, I just want to say, hope you're doing well. I know I am. It ain't that bad. But damn, the heat sucks. It really does. And finally, how about a shout out to my man Dave Sperber? Here's the guy I worked with in California back in the day. A great man. We worked on Lear Jets together. And uh, it was fun times. Like me, he's a diehard sports fan. Big football fan. He's a Bengals fan. How can you not respect that? Hey, he's from Ohio. He's got to represent his home team. And that, my friends, that's called respect. That's called a true fan. And Dave, you are absolutely awesome. You really are. And hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing well. <coughs> Squeeze me. All righty. Now, how about a random fact of the day? Thank you to my man, Kevin Sherman, who I talk to all the time, former cop in jolly old England, living the life in Illinois, and uh, a great man, and thank you to my friend, Crystal Lloyd, for always uh, for giving me that idea for the random fact of the day. Very cool. You two rock. You reek of awesomeness. Well, check this out, folks. Did you know that for the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he only spoke about 700 words of dialogue. That's it. 700 words. He got paid $15 million for that movie. Do you know what that means? That means he got $21,429 per word. Which means that he got $85,716 just for saying, Hasta la vista, baby. Unbelievable. Dude, I've already spoken over 700 words in this video. You know how much I'm getting paid for it? <laughs> Nada. All I'm, all, I'm, all, all I'm getting paid for is your attention. And that's hopefully you pay attention. Hopefully this video is good enough for you. Let me know. Give me criticism, positive or negative. Let me know if I'm kicking ass and taking names on this here show. Let me know if I suck work more than a vacuum. A Dyson. If I suck more than that, if I suck more, if I suck then more than a gutter whore, gutter slut, jeez, I'm starting to get tired, folks. Just let me know. And uh, please, like the video on Facebook and on YouTube. It helps. It helps me know where I'm going with this. You know, maybe someday I'll be big. Not big like a sumo wrestler, but big, famous. Maybe I can get my picture on the Wheaties box. God, I love Cool Runnings. One of my all-time favorite movies. All right, how about license plates? And we're going up to the land of 10,000 lakes. Minnesota, a great state indeed. With it being summer, it's probably full of mosquitoes right now. And my friends from Minnesota can attest to that. 
Here we have Minnesota, 10,000 lakes, unissued, never open, matte set of license plates. You don't believe me? There you have it. And uh, I don't even know what year they're from. Blue on white background. Blue letters, white background. No stickers. What's the YW mean? Anybody remember? I bought these back in 98, 99. And the guy I bought them from, he told me what that meant. And I don't remember what it meant. It does not mean yellow bus either. Okay. So, maybe, maybe it's a county. I'm not sure. 71, 9, 10 is kind of a low number. But with the YW, not so low. But there you have it. License plates of the day. How about some music? The song of the day. And we're taking it back to 1958 with a group that I barely heard of. Um... The song is called Early Morning Rock, and how ironic, it's early morning while I'm recording this. I will upload it later on today because I'm starting to get tired. It's by a group called the Deltones, VJ Records, and uh, can't read the label on it. It looks like uh, 5-196, not sure, but um, pulled it off. Of, now, there's a YouTube user named Hepcat59, H-E-P-K-A-T-59, okay? This guy, if you want to hear some obscure rockabilly music, this is the guy to go to. All right, 1958 on this one, BJ Records, which was predominantly a black label, but this group is about as black as I am, okay? You'll see what I mean in a moment. That bleed, if I'm not mistaken, I think BJ Records was the first... Completely black owned yeah, label. Folks, let me know, yay or nay on that one. I'm not sure. I think they were, though. 1953 DJ Records is from. Good team rockabilly right here. Now, I was reading. One of the original founding members of this group, Sammy Basil, he, uh, he wrote a nice long message to, um, to uh, Hepcat 59, founded in 1957, and he said at 12 years old he would hang around the corner at a candy store with his close friend Tommy Burton, and they'd be singing to the sounds and styles of Frankie Lyman and Teenagers, and uh, Tommy would sing bass, he'd sing the lead. Grew up in Chicago. In fact, they attended Marshall High School, which was the same high school that Dee Clark attended, another famous rock and roll singer. But, uh, these guys were young, real young. Freshman year, 1956, two years later, they were recording music while, so while juniors in high school. Pretty amazing. They recorded for BJ Records and also um, Chess Records on South Michigan Avenue. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. See, Rock and Roll had a unique way of integrating blacks and whites together. And I think that's awesome because segregation sucks balls, okay? Let's just be honest. I think it sucks. And thank you, Rock and Roll, for integrating, folks. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Well, you know what, folks? It's that time. Oh, before I go, did you know that seven years ago today, I became legally ordained as a reverend with an honorary doc doctorate degree in divinity? So, yes, I am legally known as Reverend Dr. Baker. That's why they know me as Dr. B, the Reverend. Reverend Love Doctor, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me late to dinner because I don't miss a meal. Uh -uh. <coughs> so how did I become legally ordained? Simple. Universal Life Church. That's right. ULC.net. www.ulc.net. Modesto, California. Clergy. That address is wrong. I don't live there anymore. Ordained June 25th, 2005. Seven years ago today. And it is a legitimate, no bull um, ordainment. I am a Christian. A corrupted Christian, but I am a Christian. You won't ever hear me say the Lord's name in vain. I love you, Lord. Thank you, God. 
for giving me life each and every day and blessing me with the wife and daughter that I have. Folks, I enjoy life. You all know that. But I will say this. I've performed four wedding ceremonies, and I've also performed four people's retirement ceremonies where they retired from their job, you know, where they give the, um, oh, jeez, what's it called? Um, I can't think of it now, but you, you've been to a retirement ceremony, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they have the uh, invocation or whatever, something along those lines. Also, for my father and my brother's um, raising to the, um, to the uh, worshipful, to, to the rank of worshipful master, not really rank, but title of worshipful master in the Masonic Lodge. I, I did the invocations for those, for my father and for my brother. And that was truly an honor, folks. Played the role of the chaplain. I was the chaplain for the, both of those ceremonies. So yeah, awesome stuff, good times. Hey, says in the Bible, doesn't say anything about drinking alcohol. Just says not to drink in excess, okay? This is my only beer I'm going to have today. Because I'm about to drop like a bad habit. Mm. Done. Alright, folks. It is time for me to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for scumbags like Eli A. Ramey as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Have a working awesome night and day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. God bless you all.